You might have seen a video I made a couple weeks ago about the search for the original backrooms image. In it, I added some new information I had found by doing some photo forensic work, as well as speculating on what this space could possibly be. My conclusion was that it was probably a furniture store, but I couldn't say that for sure because we still didn't know where the backrooms picture was taken. But now, we found it. That's right, this isn't clickbait, we actually found the backrooms photo this time. Here's what happened. Let's do a quick recap. On May 12th, 2019, a user on the paranormal board on 4chan starts a thread with the backrooms picture. A user responds by writing a creepypasta about the image. This is what started the backrooms meme. And by meme, I don't mean funny image, I mean a cultural idea that gets spread around between people. No one really cared to look for the origin of the image until 2020 when people began to get curious. Eventually an earlier upload of the picture was found dating back to April 8th, 2018. This upload had a Unix timestamp in the file name, suggesting that there could be even earlier uploads floating around on 4chan, but this was all the concrete information we had for several years. Everything else was either speculation or false leads. That was until just a couple days ago. On May 28th, 2024, Sarara from the Virtual Carbon Discord server uncovered an earlier version of the backrooms image from an archive 4chan post from March 8th, 2011. This is one year before the famed July 2012 date that everyone thought might be the original post from the Unix timestamp and the file name from the 2018 upload. But in a depressing twist, the actual image itself was missing from this post. Just the thumbnail remained. And also a file name. DSC00161.jpg. This DSC file name is a pattern specific to Japanese cameras. In this particular format, without an underscore, was exclusive to Sony cameras. If the image had still been attached to this post, we might have been able to gather the EXIF data from it, which not only would have told us the particular model of the camera, but it might have potentially had geolocation data as well. More 4chan posts from 2011 and 2013 were quickly uncovered with the same image hash, but again, no image remained on any of these posts. But even just uncovering an earlier post at all with an original file name was still a huge find and it was the first new thing searchers had to look for in years. And so, we searched. Literally hundreds of Flickr pages were manually looked through, long closed 4chan archives were creaked back open to look for this new file name. It was an exciting day, but it was about to get a whole lot more exciting. One searcher decided to look up the file name on Twitter, and they found a tweet from 2019 containing a link to the original copy of the Backrooms photo. That's right, only mere months after the Backrooms meme began, the original image was found, but nobody noticed. The original file was archived in 2004, but it was taken in 2002 on a Sony Cybershot camera. That sounds familiar, doesn't it? Where have I heard that before? Pedro Cultas was telling the truth. Even though he never elaborated to anybody and even arguably said himself he might have been fibbing, he really was given an original copy of the photo from a mysterious stranger, like something out of a creepypasta. The X of data he showed was valid. Pedro, I'm sorry, dude. I shouldn't have said you were wrong. So you must be pretty curious, hey? Where does a backroom's image come from? A furniture store? An art gallery? A Sears backroom? An office? No. It comes from a hobby town store in Oshkosh, Wisconsin that was renovating a room to become an RC car racetrack. Yeah, I'm serious, that's the truth. And there was another photo on the webpage where the backrooms photo came from. This is the first alternate view we've ever gotten of this room. So my theory was that the backrooms was a furniture store. I spent almost a half hour talking about it on YouTube and obviously Hobbytown isn't a furniture store. But on the webpage where the backrooms photo came from, it says that the fake walls and partitions in the photo were from a furniture store that once occupied the building. I don't mean to toot my own horn or anything, but my theory ended up being correct. And the furniture store that once occupied the building was called Ronner's Furniture. Pardon the interruption guys, Editor Farrell here. I'm about to mispronounce this name several times like an idiot. Uh, the name is not Ronner's, it's Roners, like Rhodes or Rhodesia. Probably should have looked this up before making a whole video about it, but just so nobody goes around repeating my mistakes, it's not Ronner's, it's Roners. 
All right, back to the video. But Hobby Town had occupied that space since 1994, and there weren't any pictures of runners online, so I decided to look it up in the newspaper. There's a website called newspapers.com that has archives of pretty much any local paper you can think of going back more than 100 years. It's a great service and I've used it before for previous videos. And looking for runners specifically brings up a lot of results. And one of those results has a picture of the backrooms with all the walls intact from all the way back in 1977. We're gonna hang on this for a second just so we can really take it in. So after some research with the other searchers, I've been able to put together a timeline. In 1977, Rahner's Furniture expands into a second building where the backroom space is located with all its strange walls and wallpapers. In 1994, Rahner's closes and a hobby town sets up shop in the same building. In 2002, they renovate some of their space on their second floor to turn it into an RC car racetrack, thus permanently destroying the backrooms as we know it. But luckily, while they were destroying it, they decided to take some pictures, one of them being the backrooms photo. At some point, this photo was discovered by 4chan users and uploaded to the platform where it lived its life for years as a photo of a creepy place most likely being downloaded and re-uploaded many times. In 2019, Black August, a user in the Something Awful forums, came across the infamous photo in a cursed images thread and wrote the now famous creepypasta and attached it to it. The rest is history. The end of this search is surprisingly emotional. This picture had such a large effect on the internet and only now have we actually found it. For real. While I've been into the backrooms and liminal spaces since the beginning, I've only been involved with this search officially for a matter of months. But for some, this has been a part of their lives for years. I want to take a second to give some credit to the people on Discord who actually found the location. I already mentioned Sorara, who found the 2011 post after putting in 150 hours searching through 4chan archives, who also helped out with finding the address of the actual building where the backrooms was located. There's Semilot, who had previously found one of those 2011 posts, just without the thumbnail, and who found what we previously thought was the oldest post from 2018. There's Zaft, whose talent for digging up information never ceases to amaze me, and who also found the actual webpage with the back of his photo and the first new photo we discovered. There's Artitus Redux, who actually thought to search Twitter in the first place, without whom we wouldn't be here right now talking about this discovery. And last but not least, while he wasn't one of the ones who found the photo, I want to shout out Liam, who's been here searching since the very beginning, and who's put up with false lead after false lead for years and somehow never got disillusioned with it. Without all of these people, we never would have found the backrooms. Alright guys, it's been an absolutely wild day. It's almost midnight and frankly, I'm exhausted. I expect more to come out about this fine, maybe even some more pictures of the original backroom space. The person who originally took the backroom's photo has been contacted, but they just haven't gotten back to us yet. If anything new gets found, I'll have a pinned comment below with all the updates. Thanks for watching, guys.